Hello, I'm Jennifer Barbary, Superintendent, Pine Bluff School District. I'd like to take a few moments to be completely transparent with our community members regarding some information that I've been sharing with our faculty and staff. As of today, I've been able to meet with um, all individual, all principals individually and um, have the opportunity to go to each faculty on the campuses to share with them um, my plan for moving forward for next school year for Pine Bluff School District. In order to be good fiscal agents, Next year, we are going to have one high school. All 10th through 12th grade students will attend Pine Bluff High School. We're going to have one junior high. 7th through 9th grade students will attend um, Robert Moorhead and possibly Dalloway High School. We are going to look at how that, um, how that, man, that works out for um, grade bands at, at the middle school and the high school. Um, we will function as one athletic team. We're going to be the Pine Bluff High School Zebras and we're going to be the junior high zebras. So we will have one football team, one basketball team, boys and girls, um, softball, baseball, soccer. We will continue the sports that we have, but they will all be one team under Pine Bluff School District with Pine Bluff High being that name of the team. It is my intention to close Jack Rogan Junior High School. Um, currently, uh, after doing facilities walks and looking at the uh, like all the facilities in the district, uh, Robert F. Moorhead and Dalloway High School are newer and they are more conducive to student learning at this time. Geographically, our whole district will be represented. There's a possibility re we reconfigure our elementary schools. That decision has not been made, but it is something I've discussed and talked about with principals. Um, throughout this transition, we will um, have staffing changes. Some staff will be reassigned and some staff positions will be eliminated. It is not my intention to do a RIF. However, I will recommend to the school board to, um, I, I will recommend to non-renew our faculty that are non-licensed. I know that we're going to need some of our non-licensed employees. So those decisions will be made as soon as possible as far as hiring back based on student needs. As we continue to transition into next school year, plan to hear from me frequently. It is my goal to keep the community and all stakeholders informed with the information that we have at this time. Um, please follow us on social media, visit our district website as often as possible, attend our monthly school board meetings, and always I wanna say thank you for supporting our district.